Well, again, uh, in this question, we have to find the first three terms of the sequence, and we're given this expression here. We should pay particular attention that this is a summation equation. So what we've got here is the sum from r equals 1 to n of our term is given by this expression. So we can find the sum to the first term, to the second term, to the third term, and so on, just by substituting in numbers in for n. It doesn't tell us what the terms are, though. It, it tells us what the sum is to 1, 2, and 3, and we'll have to use that then to work out what the terms of the sequence are. So let's, let's start off. Let's find, first of all, when n equals 1, we'll find the sum to the first term. In other words, we will find the first term. We get um, t1, then, equals. Now we get 1 times 2 times 2 all divided by 2, so that first term is 2. So that 2 is divided out. Okay, then we get n equals 2. We get the sum, so that, that was all right. That was the sum to the first term. Now we get the sum to the second term, and that comes to 2 times 3 times 2 squared is 4 plus 1 makes 5, all divided by 2. 2's cancel that, we get 5, 3 is a 15. And let's find the third term, because we've got n equals 3, we get the sum to the third term, and that is 3 times 3 plus 1, which is 4, times 3 squared, which is 9 plus 1, which is 10, and that's all divided by 2. Okay, 2 goes into 10, 5 times 5, 4 is a 20, and 23 is a 60. So they're the sum to the first three terms. So the first term must be 2. The sum to the two terms is 15. So 2 plus something must be 15, and that something, of course, must be 13. Right, the sum to the first term is 2, sum to the second term is 15. The third term we now have to get to 60. So if we've got the sum of the first 2 is 15, then the next term must be 45, because 15 plus 45 makes 60. So the first three terms of this sequence are 2, and then 13, and then 45. And you can see that makes sense for the sums that we're getting. 2 plus 13 gives you 15, plus 45 gives you 60. So you just have to be careful here when you're given a summation expression to then get the terms of the sequence where you just have to use a bit of common sense to work out what number it is you're adding on each time to get to the, the sums. Okay, it's 2, 13 and 45 for the first three terms of that.